Hello again, it's Maddie and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a A5 binder set up to show you guys. This is a binder that I purchased off of Amazon and it was very affordable. It was, I think nine pounds, eight pounds, 99. And it was just an Asian um, seller. It's apparently Arpan is the brand. And I wanted to try out this A5 ring setup for kind of a household management system. For me, um, I have a lot of, at this point I have multiple planners, but it's kind of a motivation to keep on track of things because I like using them, it's like a hobby for me. So I thought it would be helpful to put all of my household stuff in one place and this could be something I can leave at home and refer to as I need to. So it's a combination of household stuff and then also YouTube, social media stuff as well. So let's just get right on into this. This has like a magnetic clasp. What I will say is that it, it doesn't leave you a ton of room for things. The rings are small and this like doesn't leave you a lot of room. Like this is about as full I think as I could fill it. So. That's one thing to keep in mind if you wanted to purchase this, but I'm new to the A5 ring system, so I don't have a ton of things I need to put in this, so it's working out for me, and then, you know, in the future, if I want to invest in a more expensive um, ring binder, I can always do that. So here's what it looks like on the inside. Obviously, an integral part of setting up your planner for a lot of people is decorating and kind of making it your own. So I went ahead and I took a bunch of um, journaling cards and there was this window pocket I put a journaling card down there this is a journaling card that I cut this is some ephemera that I had put together and was in my planner at one point and I put that there and then I just have two journal journaling cards here as well set up so that's just cute and then I will put um, relevant info like bills and things um, that I need to keep a hold of in here um, but right now, um, I have that all filed away, so I don't have anything there right now. And then over here, I have all these dashboards that I made myself out of some scrapbook paper. These are Target Dollar Spot notepads that are magnetic, and I took a few off, and I went ahead and clipped it with a brass bulldog clip, and I got these from Sainsbury's. And so, yes. This section, so this is just like my front dashboard and then this section just has like notes. So this is just some like budgeting stuff that I had written down. And I like to have my brain dump sort of scraps, note pages in the very front so that if I have to write it down quickly, I don't have to flip through anything. I can just open the dashboard and then scribble like I did here. And then the rest of this is just some printer paper that I had cut up. And then you'll see we have a calendar section I feel like, how can you have a planner without having a calendar in it? So I added a calendar. I have a 2016 year at a glance and a 2017 year at a glance. All of the calendar inserts are from Pen Gems and they're free download. So I'll go ahead and link those below for you. It's a zip file for 2016 and then they also have a zip file for 2017 that has your year at a glance, monthly and weekly spread so a week on two page spread as well as a month on two page so i have this um with just like relevant stuff circled the orange circles are bank holidays because we're still getting used to the uk bank holidays and what they are so i made sure to note that down so that i didn't forget because alex does get those days off and then i just started with november because i started it this month and so this is what um, I put in these monthlies versus my like everyday carry. So this is budget um, things that I have budget stuff, I have YouTube stuff, I have relevant information for like our like me and my husband. So like when my husband's traveling, we need to send my residence application. We have a fertility appointment, like things that involve both of us. Um, are put on this um, right here. And then some of them overlap, like I'll put like this, I have things I need to do for it, and this, and the traveling that we do together. But then um, I don't do budget and YouTube and that I don't put anymore on my 
calendars that I put in my everyday carry. I just use this calendar for that, if that makes sense. So yeah, so I had made this bookmark as well. And then I just went ahead and highlighted the videos I'm making. And then the red is for my stuff. Blue is for Alex's stuff and black is things we're doing together. So his parents were in town. We hung out with them this day. We actually went to London yesterday. That was kind of last minute. Um, and then we have Thanksgiving. So I min very minimally decorate this, just enough so that if I have some extra stickers, I can use them. But the goal of this isn't to be pretty, it's to be functional. Um, but the pretty stuff helps me and motivates me to use it. So I do do a little bit of it just to keep it, keep it fresh. And then here's December, which is kind of set up um, a little bit. Again, I have the holidays that are relevant for December, events, traveling, the few um, YouTube stuff that I know that's going on, and um, just some notes. We're going to London, thing, places I want to go while we're there. And yeah, it's just very simple, nothing too crazy. And then here's the 2017, so where I have the whole year for 2017 in here as well. And then if I have like very far off planning, usually it's just um, ideas for what I want to do during the month. This it will be our second wedding anniversary. So, you know, do we want to go to the States? Do we want to take an anniversary trip? Something like that. But I don't do a lot of long-term long planning in this at, the, at this point. And then back here, you can see I have a, my finance section right here. So let's see, do I have all of this? Oh, that's stuck. And then these tabs are just from the scrapbook paper. I didn't laminate these so that I can take them off and reassign them if I want to. So in the finance section, um, I have a few different things for budgeting mostly. Um, right here I have, I'm starting to list all the things that we have for direct debits. Um, because in the UK, a lot of your utilities and um, expenses, like living expenses, are direct debited out of your bank account. It's not usually... I feel like that's the normal thing. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. But um, so I try to keep track of that. So I'm trying to keep track of what day of the month it comes out and how much so that I can have that as reference when I'm setting up my monthly budgets. So these are also free printables by a blog. And I can't remember the name of it, but it will be linked below. And I liked this format. She has several other formats as as well. It has a lot of budgeting stuff as well as, um, I believe she has weeklies and monthlies and stuff like that. But I tend to budget by paycheck and we get paid in two paychecks. So I like that I can put what's the first paycheck's expenses and the second paycheck's expenses. Our budget is a little complex because we're living in the UK and we have a UK bank account but we also have a US bank account and US expenses so I have this scrap piece of paper so that I can write down because um, I need more space than these two things kind of a lot so I can write down the things that I need to be budgeting for and if I need to work out any math I can use the scrap piece that's in between um, the the budget pages and then this is just what came with the planner so I thought I would use that and let's see ah yes yeah, so this is all just budgets and then here I have an online shopping tracker this is a free printable by another blog I edited these a little bit um I didn't like the the way the I don't know font was I don't know I'm particular so I changed that um but yeah, this this section here is all the same as what you can get. And um, yeah, so I just write down things that I'm ordering online, the shop, the item, you know, you get it. And then I usually put down like what account it's coming out of or what credit card we used. And then again, if I received it or not, which I need to update this, it's kind of out of date, but I have that there to keep a track of. Then over here I have online coupon codes, um, if I receive a thank you code or things like that from Etsy shops or on my email that I don't want to forget about, I can put them there. And then this is the, by the same blog that um, has these. And this is the repayment plan. So you can put um, who you're repaying, whether it be a credit card company, student loans, car payments, anything. The, 
total amount that you need to pay off and then the date, the amount you paid in the total outstanding so that you can go down the list. And um, for me, it's helpful because it's helpful to have that visual and it's motivational to see the amount physically go down, you know? So these are helpful for me. And then lastly, this savings plan is at the same blog that does the budget. And um, very similar to the repayment plan, what you're saving for, the amount you need, the day you need it by, and then you can just put down the dates, how much you want to save, the, the amount that you actually saved, and then the total saved. And then back here I just have some more scrap pieces of paper if I ever need to write things down or work things out for the budget or finances. And usually back here I also keep our... Um, our like financial information like reference numbers for our utility bills and stuff if we need to call I can have those all the reference numbers that I need for um, if I need to contact them so that's what I usually have here as well and this tab is the YouTube tab um, so this is all my YouTube social media stuff I don't really use that but back here I have these are from Pendulums. So normally, I kind of Frankenstein these to be what I wanted. Um, as you can see, it's like there's a lot of space here and not a lot of space here, and they don't really line up right. And that's because these are two separate printables. They have the week on two pages, which is Monday through Friday on one page, Saturday, Sunday, and then a note section. And then they have a separate printable that's that's notes entirely and they look like this. But I wanted to have Monday through Friday on one side and notes on the other side because for YouTube for the most part, I try to do everything between Monday and Friday. It's a hobby for me, but I still try to think of it kind of like a job. I don't know, just because I want to stay motivated so I have to like have the motivation to do it and so it helps me to think of it like a job, like I need to, I need to be doing it. Um, so, I try to do everything between Monday and Friday and so this week is a little weird because the last week I didn't pre-film a Monday video like I usually do. I usually film and upload and all of that and then schedule it for whatever day it's going up but I didn't do that today because we had a busy week last week. Alex's parents were visiting and it just didn't get around to it. So that's what I'm filming today for you guys so I need to film this video. I need to edit and upload it. I need to share it on Instagram and then I'll share it on Facebook. Um, my Instagram is at Planner and Perfect. It's always linked below for you guys. And then I usually share it on relevant Facebook groups that I'm a part of. Not really on my personal page because, I mean, my family, not a lot of people, like, and my friends care about planners. <laughs> or, like, I don't know. It's weird. But you know what I mean? Like, they don't get it. <laughs> why, plan why planners are interesting. So I usually just share it on Facebook groups that are relevant to it. And then on Tuesday, I usually don't do much, but... I said I just want to be active on Insta because this past week I haven't really done much and that's something that I'm trying to be more actively a part of and so yeah I'll make sure to post a few th things on Instagram and then Wednesday I need to film which is normal for me I need to film a Friday video um, edit and export that video and then on Thursday I will upload the video and add all the links that I need to do and make sure I have an Instagram picture ready and then on Friday I it will be scheduled and it will be up at 1 p.m. And then um, I need to film a Monday video and edit and export it. And then over the weekend I can just make sure it uploads and things like that. So I can show you what a normal, what a normal week looks like. So um, on the 31st I set up my new Instagram and I had a video go up this day. And then on Tuesday I will normally film uh, for Friday. So f Tuesday I filmed this week the gyro cart review and I edited and exported it. Wednesday I uploaded it um, and uh, scheduled it. Thursday I gathered my favorites um, for the Monday video so I made sure I had everything set up for the Monday video. I shared my um, some pictures and relevant stuff on Facebook pages and then I um, made sure I filmed my current favorite and ex edited and exported my favorites for Monday. So that's kind of normally how I try to set it up. I film on Tuesday and I film on Friday. So I film Tuesday for Friday, Friday for Monday, if that makes sense. Then over the weekend I just have to upload my Monday video and so if I have other things I will just write what I need to do on the weekend 
and things like that. Note section, here I use it to track my favorites that I was going to use. This week I didn't use it at all. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of how I'm using those pages. And then I do have a few things in the future, things that I know I need to start doing, like I'm gonna do vlogmits, I'm gonna do weekly vlogs in December, so I want to start filming on the 23rd, or I want to film on the 23rd, yeah, start filming, and then make sure I keep filming basically through the rest of December until Christmas. So I do have a few things that I know I'm gonna be doing. And then at the back here I have a tracker, a social media tracker, so I can track um, when I post it on Instagram, when I upload it onto YouTube, um, if I had YouTube comments, what days I got comments, just so I can know how often people are are like engaging on my YouTube channel. YouTube subs, whenever I get a new YouTube subscription, and then when I, fa when I shared on Facebook and what I shared. So I is Instagram, a V would be a video that I shared, and then I'm keeping track how many subscribers I had November 1st versus how many subscribers I have November 31st, and the same thing with IG followers as well. And then I have a few more pages if I wanna track something else. And then in the very back, the lack section, which I don't, which is probably the section I use the least, is my hand lettering section. And I'm just using this to keep track of hand lettering stuff. I was really into hand lettering for a long time there and I kind of got off of it. So I wanted to have a section that I could use in this planner for that because I think the A5 size is better for me for practicing handwriting than the A6 size. So I plan on putting some more, um, some reference sheets in here, punching reference sheets. And so I can have reference of different hand lettering styles and then practicing them and then this is paper that I just took out of this Rodia notepad. I thought it was A4 sized but I think this entire thing is A4 sized and then where it comes off it's like a lot smaller and I didn't punch it right so it's kind of weird but whatever. It's just basically scrap paper. This is some pen testing stuff I did and then the rest of it's just blank. And then I have a page lifter back here and this zip pocket is by Filofax. And I just have stamps and I have these white labels on the back has my address for return labels. And so I think one other thing I might put back here for hand lettering is um, keeping track of happy mail and pen pals so that I know who I'm talking to and um, when I'm to make sure I'm responding and whether or not I'm getting a response and things like that. So I think I'm gonna add that. Um, and then this is where I go for all my little bits for that as well. So that would kind of make sense, wouldn't it? Then I guess here the only other thing is my Hobonichi Checho Uniball. I just like the colors of it and I did order a different one so that it would have a had these colors and I think it has a green as well because those are the colors I use in my monthlies. But um, I'm still waiting on it. So for now I have this and it fits. This is a very generous pen loop, which is good. So it fits right there and it really easily, I say that and now it's not closing. <laughs> it does close, but it's a tight squeeze. So it's probably something that I shouldn't keep closed that much, but that is my A5 binder. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. I hope it was interesting. Um, there are so many free printables. I feel like I talked about that a lot in my November Traveler's Notebook setup. Um, if you're trying to set up a planner on a budget, it is possible. I would definitely suggest Amazon. You can get, um, like for instance, I have this hole punch that I purchased. This was about $9 and it punches pocket personal and then you can use it to punch a five by putting one end in up to here and punching and then turning it around and punching the other end so you can do it at an affordable price and try different styles out without breaking the bank so thank you again for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it leave your comments and questions below and please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed it thanks again bye